They're like, yo, let's go to the lake. Everybody wanna go to this goddamn lake and just die, huh? That that today's today's list consists of let's die. Like I said, okay, but what's your what question? is that? Intuition. Like, no, okay, so if hers is saying stay away, but then her brother's name is like, come here. Yeah. Well, you know they say that before we even incarnate, we already know have our life designed out for how we want it to play out. And so what if it was meant for them to go and get fucked up at the lake and hers is not? What's, What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, so we've actually had people um, say that they wanted us to react to this video based off the previous reaction to Taco Babe. Who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, so today we're reacting to Taco. Story time is something off about Lake Lanier. Yeah, like we keep hearing about people getting fucked up at Lake Lanier. So, um. I just don't get it. Don't get it either. I think, the so yeah, <laughs> the way this came up, I mentioned something about Lake Lanier because our favorite YouTuber, Lovely T, she posted something about somebody it's drowning so there. Shit. <laughs> hey, Man, I realize that I have been in my room recording. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So, um, Lovely T, she posted something about somebody else passing at Lake Lanier. And I just end up ask asking Nick, y'all have to excuse me, y'all. I'm a little tipsy. But I asked Nick, I said, why do people keep playing at Lake Lanier? I was like, I don't get it. And Nick had not seen it yet. So I sent it to her and she was just like, what was you like, Lord, or shaking your head or something? It's like, we just don't get it. Yeah. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we get to react, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. All right, let's get into it about Lake Lanier. We're in a lot lately. And like, yeah, my ring like go crazy or whatever, but taco mist is natural light, like, you feel me? Look at me. Bitch, look at the type of person I am. I need to be in some natural light. So, here we are, you guys. If you've been here from the long run, you know where the fuck I'm at. I'm in the guest room. This is the bunk bed. It's a chair behind me, you feel me? It's a charger piece right here. Don't know where it came from, but I'ma keep it because I needed another one. What's going on? I'm back. tell y'all story time of my experience at Lake Lanier. If you live in Georgia, if you live in Atlanta, if you live in any of the surrounding areas, bitch, you know what the fuck Lake Lanier is. Lake Lanier is a lake, obviously. Stupid ass. No, bitch, it's an ocean. <laughs> Dumb ass. Bitch, it's a mountain. Ugly ass. Nah, for real. <laughs> so let me tell y'all, for real. Y'all already know Taco is a very superstitious person. I believe in everything. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't put, I always tell y'all, I don't put shit past nothing or nobody because we don't know what's out here in this world. You get what I'm saying? We don't know what type of shit is running around out here in, in this goddamn atmosphere. We don't know what's outside the atmosphere. I believe in a lot of stuff because why not? Like you have to be closed minded not to believe in this shit. Like who just wakes up and be like, no, it ain't no Bigfoot. Says the fuck who? Nigga, like who are you? Have you been to all the goddamn caves and, and, and goddamn forests out here in America? If not, then shut up, because you don't know. Motherfucker, fuck around, be in your backyard. You gonna be like, what is that? It's a deer. No, nigga, it's not a deer, it's a Bigfoot. Lake Lanier is haunted. Moral of the story, 
likely you're haunted stupid ass no i apologize if my lighting is super crazy i'm trying to like work with it y'all will be all right lake lanier is a lake in the northern part of georgia uh i think the chattahoochee river flows into it i think lake lanier yeah. was like created in like the 50s according to my dad my mom because y'all know they older that's daytime lake lanier was created in like 1955 56 and it's actually the the buford dam it, it lets out like the buford dam lets out into lake lanier so they actually made it it's like a, a reservoir like yep shit shit floods into there like it's a man-made lake you feel me so red flag number one that's fucking creepy a man-made lake bitch that's scary as shit like the fact that humans can create shit that god is su supposed to create that's so fucking scary to me i don't and see the thing is like when i heard that there was a when i first heard about lake lanier and i heard that it was a man-made lake i expected it to be something small but then when i seen it and seen how massive it was i was like wow like i didn't even i didn't even know that shit was possible care i mean i know I, I don't believe in god but that's just fucking scary to me before i get into the story let me tell y'all how taco brain works i think humans can create weather i think we live in a big ass simulation y'all probably gonna think taco is weird and crazy but i don't give a fuck bitch that's how i think how you think is how you think bitch i'm gonna think the way i think i think we live in a big ass simulation because a lot of this shit for a lot of this shit to even work and, and for a lot of this shit to be controlled man and man-made that's scary it's, it's gonna be 2020. It's no telling what these people can do. Like, I don't put shit past nobody. Like, I keep telling y'all. NASA, bitch, whoever. <laughs> All them other people, the CIA, the FBI, bitch, the DEA, the fucking NWA, whoever, bitch. Fuck, I don't put nothing past SWV, bitch. <laughs> I don't put nothing past nobody because a lot of this shit is just weird to me. You feel me? Let me tell you, I seen this video. These niggas made it rain. Like, NASA was launching like a fucking rocket or something and the the rocket created a cloud and that cloud ended up raining. So everybody was kind of like, no, they didn't make it rain. They just made a rain cloud and it rained. So bitch, basically they made it rain. What the fuck are you? <laughs> basically they made it rain, nigga. What are you talking about? Like niggas trying to find a loophole and shit. They didn't make it rain when the rocket launched. The rocket did this. And it made a fucking pixelated. No, nigga. Either way it go, they made it rain. Like shit like that is weird to me. Like how the fuck? How how is a human doing some shit like this? You feel me? Like even even just a machine. How did that rocket make it rain, bitch? So anyway, Lake Lanier is a man-made lake. It's in the northern part of Georgia. Is is it's very like it's up there. You feel me? Um, somebody my skin complexion, I shouldn't even been up there in the first place because it's a very racist area. Oh, she but went. I'm gonna tell y'all why I was out there. I'm gonna tell y'all my experience in the in the area, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I think it's fucking haunted. So, like I said, Lake Lanier was created in 1956, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a man-made lake. They, like I said, the Chattahoochee River flows into it, and it's also a let out for the Buford Dam. Before Lake Lanier was created, do y'all know what it was? Anybody? I'm gonna call on anybody. You got your hand raised? Nope. Okay, you were just stretching. All right. What about you? Nope. Oh, mm, what? You said you want what? Oh, you you want hot Cheetos from Keith? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, please. Lake Lanier before <laughs> it was a lake. It was a town. It was a thriving fucking town. It wasn't an abandoned ghost town. It wasn't like people just up and left and left the town. So they, oh, let's Oscar move it over Hill. here. Let's make this. A, no, it was a thriving town. Do you know who inhabited that town? Us, black people. So, you know, the 50s, Taco wasn't born in the 50s. I'm not too sure how the 50s were. But from what I hear, it was very fucking racist. Like nowadays, um, nothing has changed. Stupid ass, not nah, for real. Lake Lanier was a very thriving ass black area it was a, a black town it was black workshops black businesses black people living in their fucking homes raising their beautiful black children black 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 blackly black black by popular demand bitch you feel me it was a black area a black town you already know how that shit go when they see us doing a little too much what them niggas do run us about it or somehow make us hate each other and kill each other so they can goddamn tear us down i don't, I don't know what made these motherfuckers go up in that town it was kind of like we finna flood this bitch but that's basically what they did what from what i read and from what my parents told me and from what 
my other family members told me like i said my family is very much older than me so you know they was around during that time they basically ran the families out of the area and flooded the town now look at me y'all know half them families did not get ran up out of that fucking town y'all already know some black people we ain't going out without a fucking fight you feel me and you know when you talk back to somebody of that nature what do they do they used to kill us they used to lynch us they used to torture us they used to beat us the fuck up until we left so you know i feel like a lot of that went down as well um not only was it just a, it, it, it's a fucking town you guys like imagine a town it's it's fucking cemeteries is like i said it was buildings it was businesses it was stores it was houses it was a whole like field in that bitch and i'm gonna tell y'all how i know it was a field like a football field like like a fucking soccer field or something i'm gonna tell y'all how i know that so a whole town just flooded the people were paid to leave like you know if if somebody wants to come in and fucking renovate a whole area they usually pay people to like yeah. they'll give you money for you to move or they'll pay you for your for your fucking land and like like we're trying to build something like right right here like if somebody came to my neighborhood it was like yeah we're trying to turn this into a big ass mall area we'll give you this much to relocate shit like that y'all know they ain't paid them black people shit it's the 50s probably gave them motherfuckers two dollars and like three dollars y'all know they're not paying no black folks that much like it, they was probably like either get y'all ass the fuck up out of here or we gonna move y'all our fucking self and i kind of feel like that's how i went down like i said i don't put shit past nobody anyway let me get into story time <laughs> so if you do not live in georgia or atlanta i know it's the same place but it's not the same place i don't give a fuck if you don't stay here then you may not hear the stories of every time somebody goes out to lake lanier they die it's always a tragic accident at lake lanier somebody always drowns somebody always running something they get killed chopped up shot up it's a shooting at lake lanier who the fuck is shooting at lake who, who the fuck shot you a fish what the hell going on out here lake lanier is body soup nigga that water is infested with bodies is infested with the town the town is still up under lake lanier i feel like a lot of shit that goes on out there is the energy surrounding the town taco is a big believer in energy y'all know that mm -hmm. if you're not a big believer in energy bitch you better start because it's possible lake lanier has a lot of fucking energy in it and a lot of unresolved trauma and like past issues in it i don't give a fuck i'm gonna keep saying that because y'all probably like nah bitch you just tripping no nigga it makes sense to me so with all that being said imagine being black in a time where i mean shit Y'all was supposed to coexist together, but it was still a lot of hatred, you feel me? A lot of animosity. So imagine some white people just up and coming and telling you to get the fuck out your town. Nigga, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but Taco gonna stand at her door like, you want me to do what? <laughs> and from there, you already know. I mean, you know, it's like they could, they kill black people and get away with it now. Imagine how it was back in the day, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Lake Lanier is fucking haunted. I was out at Lake Lanier last year, 2018. I actually went with my brother. My oldest brother is a truck driver. He drives for FedEx. My oldest brother has been around all of America. My oldest brother has been to the West Coast, the East Coast, North Side, South Side. My brother knows the in and outs of every fucking where. So he's a very adventurous person when he's not working. I'm leaning this way because the light is in my face. My brother is a very adventurous person when he's not like on the road doing work and shit. So my brother hit me up he like yeah you know like i got his cabin up there or whatever he was like i'm going your niece going and my girl going or whatever and then my me and my niece is like the same age my niece is actually a year older than me because my family's so old my nieces and nephews are older than me and it's just crazy my niece is a year older than me so my brother like yeah so like i said my my niece going my girl going and you know we just wanted to invite you or whatever so your niece could have somebody like to chill with while she was out there lake lanier is far it's in a whole it's like like i said it's in northern georgia it's up there in the fucking mountains and woods with the bobcats the wildcats tasmanian devils mm. bitch digimon pokemon out there all types of crazy shit so you know man taco always down for adventure i'm a sagittarius that's all we love so you know skr, skr, my brother swing by pick me up boom we mean. headed out there to lake lanier now, prior to this, Taco has always heard about Lake Lanier. You know, being a fucking ATLian, you hear about Lake Lanier all the time. I don't care if you live in the crevices of the hood. You know what Lake Lanier is. Anytime you hear Lake Lanier, the first thing, if you come to Atlanta right now and ask somebody about Lake Lanier, 
you probably gonna hear that shit haunted. Don't go to Lake Lanier, somebody always dying out there. Lake Lanier is actually where Usher's stepson yeah. or his godson, mm -hmm. that's where he passed away. Y'all remember, y'all remember not too long ago, Usher had that whole thing. Usher the singer, y'all probably like Usher. Usher the fucking singer, yes. Usher's, Usher, one of Usher's kids died, his son or something. I think he was out there like maybe on a water ski or a jet ski. Something happened and a little boy tragically passed away. It was at fucking Lake Lanier. Um, a fucking NFL player, can't remember if he was retired or if he was still in the league, like actively. Fucking NFL player actually went missing out there and then they like found his body like underwater, like latched on to something. It's so, I'm gonna explain to y'all. It's so much shit up under that water because it was a town down there. So you imagine swimming in a lake and you feel something bruh. You saw how I was swimming. Bitch, what the hell are you doing? A fucking poodle paddle, bitch. So you, you imagine swimming in a fucking lake and something brushes you. Bitch, who? <laughs> bitch, I'm a goddamn. Bitch, who the fuck? <laughs> bitch, I'm a drown myself out there. Like, yeah. there's so much shit under that water because it was a town down there. So you in the water, you brushing by fucking mailboxes, fucking houses. It's, it's whole buildings the still hell? built, but just like slowly but surely falling apart because it's submerged in water, my niggas. The whole town, y'all, like a whole fucking town just flooded. The people who flooded it, they didn't even think to like tear shit. Down. And like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to tear shit down. Just flood it. Flood it, nigga. I mean, it wasn't nobody here anyway, but some black people. And we ran them, ran them up out of here anyway. Flood this shit. Let me tell y'all my experience at Lake Lanier and why I know it's haunted. Get to the location, we get to Lake Lanier. The energy, as soon as we hit, hit like the city, because it's, it's in Buford, Georgia. Mm. As soon as we entered Buford, Georgia, I fell off. I was like, ew. You you ever been in a situation? <laughs> ew. <laughs> you ever been in a situation and you can kind of feel shit going left? You can kind of feel yeah. like the vibe is off, the energy is off. Or even if you just around a group of friends and they bring that one person around that you don't fuck with. You know that energy? You know that feeling? That's how I felt. So as soon as we hit Buford, Georgia, I'm in the, in the car like, hello. <laughs> energy Jesus? What the hell is this? I'm like, this shit feels, <laughs> it feels nasty. It feel like, it feel like somebody just took a bunch of fucking candy and just put it in my fucking mouth and I just had to chew everything. Like, bitch, don't spit it out. That's how nasty it felt. Like, imagine chocolate, imagine bubble gum, imagine Skittles, and imagine some fucking chewing gum. Just all put in your mouth at once and just chew it. Wow, chew that's it. a good way to describe it. Hey, if somebody was like, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars right now if you just put all this candy in your mouth, just fucking chew it. You can't even spit it out. Ew! That's how I felt. Like, <laughs> it felt compacted. It felt just, it just felt fucking, I don't even know what the fuck this feels like, but God damn it. This you know is what I'm saying? Like, I know she don't really know how to explain it, but Carla, she's actually good at that too. Whereas like you find some type of way to explain it where we can kind of get a, a gist of what she's saying. And her talking about putting chocolate, bubble gum, Chewing Twizzlers, gum. nerds, yeah. shit like that all in your mouth at one time. Uh, it makes sense to me though. Yeah. Of what like maybe the energy felt like. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, that was a good way to explain it. How it felt? Just fucking stupid. Doesn't it look fucking yeah. stupid? This is how it felt. It's fucking. Y'all probably gonna comment like, so it felt like you slapping your hands together. No. Yes. Stupid. <laughs> and the cabin that we're staying in is actually an Airbnb. Who the fuck is renting an Airbnb in a fucking mm. zombie town? I don't know. Your brother. My brother. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Airbnb is actually nice as fuck. I ain't gonna cap on them folks. That shit was hard. The town was just, bitch, felt like a racism. <laughs> the whole experience just felt like a racism. I felt like I was in a racist, scary movie. Like, I felt like it was just so much underlying racism, but I couldn't point it out. Because we were like the only other black people out there. And I was just like, let's just relax. We was like a grain of pepper in a fucking bowl of salt. I said, yeah, let's what? just chill out. I'm not even gonna pop my shit out here cause it'd be just our luck. These motherfuckers lose their mind. Ain't nobody gonna look for us. Like nigga, fuck it. See, and that's why, hold on, I know I don't wanna change the subject too much, but that's why I always say that I think it's very important for the black community to stick together. Because it's like at the end of the day, if some shit pop off, like how we got 
right now we have some shit going on in the black community where a lot of black men ain't feeling black women, a lot of black women ain't feeling black men. Yeah. But some shit pop off, you're nine times out of ten gonna be looking for the person that looks like you the most. To so come it's like, together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like we need to be able to trust each other, not be allowing people to divide and conquer us. Yeah. <laughs> Unpacking. My niece is actually lit. My niece is like enjoying it. She's like, yeah, bitch, I'm gonna go get in that lake. Oh, oh like, bitch, shit. You go get goddamn bronchitis swimming in that goddamn lake. I said, you want to go get in the lake? She said, yeah, I want to I like get, I want to put my feet in the lake. I said, you go ahead and put your goddamn feet in there, bitch. Motherfucking Ooga Booga Monster going to grab your stupid ass. I said, <laughs> okay. She's like, you don't want to go to the lake? First of all, Taco can't swim. I'm, I can't fucking swim unless I'm swimming in some pussy. I can't fucking swim. Like, no, I don't want to get in a fucking lake. I don't like getting in, in a fucking, a, the fucking thing. <laughs> Cause I can't even just say a pool. I don't like being somewhere and there's nothing under my feet. So roller coasters, like the yeah. fucking Superman at Six Flags. Is that that? When you get on a Superman and it's nothing under your feet, you're just like hanging. You're like dangling. I, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like not feeling something under my size three foot. It freaks me the fuck Damn. out. I don't know what it is. Three? Who the fuck? Where the fuck is, is the thing that's supposed to support? A little where, bit of feet. <laughs> Hello? She got foot booties knees. on. Please bless me with some type of <laughs> fucking, uh, this my foot. This is what I need you to, god damn, you see this? This is what I need you to bless me with. So my foot, then my foot, my foot. She said she need to be back. ground. You heard that connection? That's my fucking foot. This is what I need you to bless me with. My foot. I need that. I need some type of fucking solidness <laughs> under my fucking foot. I don't do that shit. I hate it. It freaks me out. <sighs> Bitch, I don't even know who to call on at this point because I done told Foot Jesus already. I don't like that shit. I said, no, I don't want to do it. It's like, and just think of it because a lot of us know how to swim. A lot of us know how to swim enough to save our life. But this is the thing I think about with Carla and her kids who don't know how to swim. Yeah. And I know that's one thing you wish you would have done is got them swimming lessons because... Well, no. Remember, I got my daughter oh, swimming yeah. lessons. She just did not like it. I just think about how Bradley said, like, if he get in the water, he goes straight to the bottom. When I first heard that, it was hard for me to just um, process that in my head because I, I know if I get in the water, I at least know how to do enough to not go to that motherfucking bottom. But he said, he get in that motherfucking water. If it's too deep, he goes straight to the bottom. Yeah. If I was like that, I would be scared to even get close to water. That's how Sierra is. Sierra, she just, she don't even get close to water. Like, she'll put on her little swimsuit and may put her feet on the step. But she ain't finna like submerge her body in there where something go grab. I never forget when I was a kid, my mom, she almost drowned. Because again, my mama had me at 17, so we all young. And we went to a pool, a community pool. And she, I don't know what happened. All I know is she was in the deep end. And she was like this, trying to do whatever. And this man had to dive in that motherfucker to pull her out. Because she went straight to the bottom. At the time, she didn't know how to swim. Not even enough to save her own life. It's crazy because I remember when I didn't know how to swim and my sister had to jump in for me. Yeah, I didn't even realize I was in danger. I'm like a little child playing in the water. All I remember doing is floating. Looking At up. least you knew how to do that. No, I wasn't. I didn't even know how to do it on purpose, babe. That's what I'm saying. It was like I was on the steps. That You said you don't know how to do it on purpose. That's why it fucks me up in the head when I think about somebody who goes in and goes straight to the bottom. But see, what happened, I was on the steps. And you know how they have that rail on the steps? Yeah. So I was a kid, and I had the rail, and I was jumping from one side to the other side. But because the water had splashed up, my hand slipped off the pole. So I automatically fell back. But when I fell back, I didn't scream nothing. I just remember looking up at the sky. It was so blue and the sun was so pretty. Girl. And I'm just like, I couldn't hear anything because you know when the water yeah. cover your ears, you can't hear anything. It was just like silence, like peace. And I was just looking up at the sky. Maybe it was a natural survival thing that just kicked in. I don't know. I didn't even realize I was in danger until my sister snatched my ass up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> fucking late. She's like, why? 
bitch in a swimming pool at least in a swimming pool like when i'm in three feet because i'm fucking yeah. tiny or is it four feet four feet when i'm in four feet the water comes fucking here at least i can like you know walk <laughs> i can still feel the fucking the fucking ground up under me yeah. when taco start hitting that goddamn five feet that six feet i start freaking out because bitch where's the ground i'm freaking out she's like trying her best to talk me into like just getting in the lake and, hell like, no eating it i'm like sweetie first of all i have eczema Second of all, I'm a Negro. No, I, bitch, who the fuck swim in lakes? Nigga, what the fuck you want a flesh eating disease? I hear too much shit going on in the world for me to just jump in the fucking lake. But fuck around, get in that goddamn lake and come out with a UTI. No, I don't want to swim in no goddamn oh, lake. leeches. People are like, you know, if the water is moving and the water is being clean, who the fuck says that? How do you know? Who Whose fucking logic is that? No, nigga, you fuck around and get in that lake, you gonna come out looking like Dawn of the Dead. We had the Airbnb, we mm -hmm. unpacking, we putting shit up, putting shit down, putting shit on. Cause these motherfuckers wanna go to that lake so bad. And I'm just like, yo, I'm not feeling it. My energy's fucking off. I feel, I feel compressed. Every time something is off, Taco feels like she's being smushed. I feel fucking suffocated. I feel like something is just around me and I have to do like this to like fucking fit in like i felt like i was doing like this the whole time i was there like bitch balled up <laughs> i say y'all not feeling this shit these motherfuckers is like look you tripping just enjoy yourself i can't because i feel my goddamn ancestors tapping me on my goddamn back like bitch avenge us like <laughs> find a white man kill him like, i'm like look like, I don't know damn <laughs> maybe it's his great great uncle I can't kill the great great uncle for what he did. It's not the same person. With all that being said, we finally settled in, put all our shit up, everybody relaxed, everybody lit, niggas you drinking. They're like, yo, let's go to the fucking lake. Everybody wanna go to this goddamn lake and just fucking die, huh? That that today's today's fucking list consists of let's die. Like I said, okay, bet. I ain't gonna Let me ask you this. So how Taco is feeling, she feel like someone's telling her to stay away. But then they is feel, her brother and them feeling like some calling them. Mm -hmm. What's your what question? What is that? Intuition. Like, no, okay, so if hers is saying stay away, but then her brother's name is like, come here. Yeah, well, you know they say that before we even incarnate, we already know, have our life designed out for how we want it to play out. She is, so what if it was meant for them to go and get fucked up at the lake and hers is not? <laughs> don't talk nobody out of it. I mean, bitch, either way you go, you kind of said yes to coming. So don't be a party pooper. So I yeah. said, all right, bro, let's go to the lake. I mean, Taco just not gonna get in. We at the lake. This fucking lake is huge. This lake is yes. so goddamn big. And you know why it's fucking big? Because it's a city. It, they flooded a fucking city. The area that we were at by the lake, it was kind of like, it was like trees in the middle as well. It was bushes, it was shrubs, it was trees. Like, it's fucking huge. So like, it got to this one part of the lake where it was just like a land mass of fucking trees. So I'm like, mm, okay. I'm not thinking nothing of it, you know? But at the same time, I'm still thinking like, it's a city up under this bitch. The whole time I was at the lake, that's all I'm thinking. It's a fucking city under this. If I put my feet in here and I feel something, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. So I'm just not even gonna get in the water. I'm just gonna stand here on, on the shore and look at these motherfuckers have the time of their life because this will be the last time. My niece turned up, my brother turned up, my brother girl turned up and I'm just standing there. And they like, come on, like, Come on, like, we ain't coming out here for you to just stand there. They were like, you want to get on this boat? No, I don't want to get on a fucking boat. Fucking white man, Colton, I remember him. Colton was like, yeah, you know, I, I give y'all boat rides, like $10, $10 each, $10 every person. Who? Colton, boy, fuck you. These niggas was like dead ass trying to get on Colton the boat. I'm like, no, boy, <laughs> Colton is not La Yachty. I'm not getting on this goddamn La Boat. I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna fuck pay. <laughs> Bitch, Colton, you want me to pay $10 to die? Fuck you, Colton. Colton is explaining. He like, yeah, I'll take you over there. I'll take you over here. I'll wrap you around right here. I'll wrap you around these trees. We're going to come out. I'm going to hit a U-E. Pull you back up to the dock. That's it. That's all the boat ride consists of. I'll take you as far as you want to. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Just remember, we're going to hit this U-E, come back. Who, you just, first of all, Colton, you just said you was going to wrap me around a tree. Fuck no. Nigga, no. I No, nigga. 
coat and it's just like yeah you know let's fucking party ten dollars a person i got brewskis on the boat you can bring your drinks Bruce on the boat you can bring your speak you got a speaker fuck yeah bring the speaker bring the stereo on the boat mm -hmm. let's turn mm -hmm. up i got you guys ten dollars a person i'm looking at my brother i'm looking at my niece i'm looking at his girl i'm like Y'all finna get this nigga $40 <laughs> so we can die. I said, no, I don't want to get on this goddamn boat. You know what the fuck happened? Taco got on the goddamn boat. Taco's on the boat. I'm on the boat. Stiff. I'm on that I fucking bet. boat like a mannequin. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not even saying shit. I'm just sitting there like, we gonna goddamn die. Colton said he gonna wrap us around the tree. That's what he gonna do for real. We on that fucking boat. Colton's like, shkit, 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 shkit. Colton, fucking relax. Cause you're doing a lot, Colton. Take us around the lake. Lake's fucking huge. We got to this one area of the lake. It was so far back. I felt like I was looking at a mirage. Like you ever look at something for, for so long, your eyes start playing tricks on you. That's what the fuck was happening. I'm looking at this huge fucking spacious ass lake. And I feel like the harder I stare, I'm seeing shit. And it got to the point where I was like, "That's I'm not tripping. I like see I keep telling y'all it's a city under this bitch. So as Colton's driving, you know, we got a little speaker on the boat. I'm like, turn on the speaker real quick. Talk to my brother. I'm like, turn on the speaker real quick. I'm like, Colton, what is that back there? He was like, what you see? So I pointed. He took us back there. Do y'all know what the fuck was in this water? Bleachers. I said, what? Hello? I said, Colton, what is that? He said, it looked like the top of some bleachers. He was like, every time I see that, the sea level is like rising or lowering or some shit. I don't know how the fuck the sea works. I just know the sea wake up. One day the sea wake up, like I want to rise today. And then the next day he'd be like, I want to go back downstairs. So I'm fucking lower this bitch. I don't know how sea levels work. Just know that the fucking... <sighs> when the elevator come up with the water, bring the water up, the water go back down. I don't fucking know. I just know I saw bleachers. So Colton took us back there towards the bleachers. I'm like, Colton, what is this? He was like, yeah, these bleachers been out here for a while. I know they've been out here for a fucking while because it's a town up under this bitch. So I asked him, I said, what's under this, what's under this lake? He said, uh, I mean, people come out here, people kind of litter, you know, people litter. He said, uh, people throw all types of stuff in this lake. I said, but what's really up under this lake? He said, from what I always hear, it's a town down there. And I said, so Colton, right now, are we looking at bleachers that was probably a part of that town? Like, like right now, are we kind of in the fucking area of what may have been like a fucking stadium or maybe like a football field? Dang. He said, yeah, it's like, if that's the case, I can see how Usher's son probably got fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Imagine he on a jet ski and he riding in that water and he and run he over, some. yeah, hit some bleachers or some shit like that. Yeah, if the water level low. Yeah. Yeah. Dodging trees and all type of shit, light light poles. All well, I don't know if they had light pole. Yeah, nineteen fifty. They probably, yeah, probably. <laughs> and I just I just sat there and I just stared at him because he was so calm talking about it. It made me fucking uncomfortable. And I'm looking at him like, is this not fucking creepy to you, fucking Colton? No, it's not creepy to you because you don't give a fuck. So I'm looking at my brothers. I'm I'm looking at my brother. I'm looking at my niece. I'm looking at his girl. I'm like, this is not scared to y'all. I did ask asked him. I said, this is not scared to y'all. I said, shit happened, man. Shit happens. So mm -hmm. fucking flooding a town is just fucking normal, I guess. I said, yo, all right. So at this point, I'm starting to get fucking irritated because I'm not enjoying myself. I don't like the energy. I don't like how this shit feels. I don't like the fact that I'm in a boat fucking riding around on top of a town. It's, it was so much shit in that water, y'all. It was freaking me the fuck out. So I'm in a fucking boat ride. It was finally over. A waste of $10. Boat ride finally over. We back on the fucking shore. We back on the fucking dock. The coast. Bitch, I don't know fucking lake language. We back there. I see some people. I see people running around having the time of their life. Taco is very... I don't like people, but when I'm trying to figure something out, I'll talk. So I go up to somebody. I was like, are you always out here? Like, do you come out here all the time? Because he had like a whole fucking shindig. That nigga had a tent. He had a fucking cooler. The tent was like half a house. I said, yo, you out here fucking lit. You finna move in, ain't you? So I walked up to him. I said, you come out here all the time? He said, yeah, I've been coming out here for some years now. I asked him. I said, what? what is Lake Lanier? Like, what's under Lake Lanier? He said, it's a whole town up under here, sweetie. And I was like, did they tear anything down? He said, no, they just flooded it. And he was like, I've been in this water so much. I grew up swimming in this water. He said, I, I done swam in this water so much. I felt shit touch me. I felt shit brush past me. 
at one point I felt something under my foot and I kind of made it out to be a mailbox. I s Hello, <laughs> uh, mailbox Jesus. Did you deliver these people their mail yet? Because I think you missing them. Now what the fuck you man? Talk to him for like maybe like five minutes at the most. I was just asking questions because I'm trying to figure out why are so many people comfortable with going to a lake where it's a town under it? Is that not freaking y'all out? The when I tell y'all I was so freaked out when I saw those bleachers because it's kind of like, do y'all understand how far up bleachers go? Like, yeah. Yeah. like some real deal bleachers, not no bleachers in your fucking high school gym. I'm talking about bleachers like in a fucking field like a soccer yeah. field a football field y'all understand how fucking big bleachers are and how far up some of them go for me to see the, the top step of a bleacher it really it freaked me the fuck out because i'm like it's really something up under us and niggas come out here and just party like it's fucking the end of the world i said yo this shit is sick nigga like that's after a while i started feeling fucking sick i said i gotta get the fuck so you know lake lanier is known for a lot of fucking deaths. Somebody actually just passed away recently at Lake Lanier, I wanna say maybe last month. They found a van, and inside the van it was a man, and he had been down there for maybe six months. They said the fish, they said somebody was fishing, and he found a van, and inside the van it was a man. I'm mean, like, how the fuck are you fishing, and you, the fuck did you do? You pulled up the fucking van with your fishing pole? I said, what the fuck? For something to be down there that long, it's it's a whole van, a Brady Bunch van. For a van to be down there that long and nobody fucking knew for six months or longer, do you understand what the fuck could possibly be down there? A town, my nigga. Grocery stores, cemeteries, schools, houses. It's a whole town up under Lake Lanier. Do you understand the type of energy? Do you understand what the people probably fucking went through once they realize these niggas is flooding our home. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't want to hear none of that. Taco, they probably paid those people to relocate. Yeah, probably fucking some of them. But probably the rest of them, they probably didn't even fucking stand a chance, my nigga. Like, y'all know the way they treated black people because they still fucking treat us like this. They probably lynched so many fucking black people who tried to tell them, like, no. They probably fucking beat them up. Get the fuck out. Like, leave, nigga. We finna, we finna flood this shit. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Y'all, that shit made me sick, nigga. And, and now I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, the reason it's probably so many deaths at this fucking lake <laughs> is because our ancestors are pissed the fuck up under that water grabbing their ass. Like, yeah, bitch. You wanna come out here and swim? All right, I'm gonna get your ass some swimming, bitch. And you know, it's something that I used to think about like when I first heard about Lake Lanier and like the tragedies that happen. Um, I would, I used to think I'd be like, well, if it's black people or black ancestors or black people who died, um, why do they attack and kill other black people at the lake? Why don't they only target white people? But then I had to break it down to again, energy, like in the, just thinking about everything just being energy. And it's just a angry, if, if this is all true and all that, in my mind, I'm thinking this is just a negative, angry you know, upset, I want revenge type of uh, energy, then that's all it is. And it's just going to tack and get whoever the fuck it gets. Yeah. No matter if you black or whatever. Yeah. Or if you was a good white person or what, it don't matter. You get in the fucking way, you're going to get fucked up. Yeah. Pull your ass up under this goddamn water. Nobody would know that you're here. <laughs> like, oh, it was just fucking, it was fucking freaky. It was creeping me out. So, you know, we finally left the fucking lake. We went back to the Airbnb and I was moody. I was fucking moody. I was fucking, yo, not even on no possession shit, but I just, I didn't even feel like myself there. I felt like I was just out of, I felt like it was an out of body experience. I felt like I wasn't even fucking there. I felt, I, I just was so upset. For me to be in an area and I'm becoming irritated, I'm becoming moody. I don't like the energy there. Something's fucking happening to me, obviously. What the fuck is wrong with me? So, you know. We back in the Airbnb, we chilling, everybody fucking selling in. We got pizza, we got drinks. Niggas watching TV, my brother and his girl playing. What we about to do? My niece keeps fucking talking to me. She's like, you, you don't like it? What's wrong with you? You not having fun? No, I'm not fucking having fun. This shit is creepy, bro. I'm, I'm not enjoying this. This is making me feel weird. Y'all ever seen Amityville Horror? 
every time they would get near the house the family members would act out of fucking character that's how i fucking felt i felt like i was in goddamn antleyville horror bitch late linear horror because i said what the fuck is going on out here this shit is weird this shit's creepy it's too many fucking deaths surrounding this bitch every time somebody come out here it's death at lake lanier two found dead at lake lanier three people fall off boat and go missing at lake lanier bodies recovered oh, shit <laughs> if i was a news reporter i wouldn't even report on that bitch no more every time something happened at lake lanier i get on the news back to you taco yes uh jim i'm out here at lake lanier where ironically there's another fucking death can you motherfuckers just keep y'all ass from around this goddamn lake back to you tom bitch i'm sick of it <laughs> soon as the camera cut off i'm sick of this shit fuck y'all I mean, keep coming all, out. all my experience at lake lanier on a scale of one to ten bitch it was a negative ten i hated it it was fucking weird it ain't a killer in atlanta that got more bodies than fucking lake lanier i don't give a fuck bitch Man. lake lanier is dead nigga soup like literally like alphabet soup bitch no dead nigga soup it a fuck no <laughs> but no man i don't care what nobody say that shit was weird the fact that it's so many people out there just enjoying their time having the time of their life on top of a flooded town i, I couldn't fuck with it. i wasn't feeling it it's weird it's it's a town up under that bitch the the, the most uncomfortable part to me is the fact that you know within towns there's cemeteries so it's probably it's, it's bodies in that bitch like not even just the people who go out there and mm. go missing it's bodies from the cemetery out in that bitch probably just floating around but you know i don't know i just wanted to share this story with y'all because i saw so many lake lanier posts and i wanted to give y'all like my side of the story do i think it's weird yes do i think it's haunted fuck yes would i recommend it <sighs> If you like haunted shit, yes, bitch, I would recommend it. If you don't, no, like. Or let a story, you guys. Moral of this story, just always do your research on something before you decide to go there. Taco is a very resourceful ass person. I will search the fuck out of something before I just go. Another moral of this story, know your history. Um, another moral of the story, don't always believe what certain people tell you. Cause growing up people would just be like yeah lake lanier it's just a lake nah that ain't it motherfucker it's a whole town up under that bitch y'all done ran my folks up out of there probably probably killed some of them probably beat some of them up probably did some of them real foul and ain't gonna flood they shit another moral of the story if you're somewhere and it's making your energy feel off leave that area don't don't sit there and put up with it just because you're around other people um energy is a big deal to me I, I kind of, the older I get, I'm kind of going off of my intuition. I'm going off of like how something makes me feel. If something makes me feel uncomfortable, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not dealing with it. Cause why? Bitch, I'm stressing myself out for what? I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to be stressed out. Nigga, that's not fun. You feel me? So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Man, that's crazy. You know, I already said I don't want to be nowhere near Lake Lanier just because I heard about it. But could you, could you imagine the people that get taken to Lake Lanier that don't know the history? How she said, don't just believe what somebody tell you. Research it for yourself. Then I guess it'll just be a test of your intuition and how in tune you are with energy, period. I know, man. One time, Nick and I, when we was um, driving trucks, I told Nick we had went down the street one time. It was storming. And I think you was in the back sleep or something. I was doing my shift, and I could just feel the energy. When you're an energy person and um, something disrupts your spirit and you can tell that it's something going on in the area, it does. It makes you feel... I don't know. It's like I almost got like this, this sink in my heart just now just talking about it because when I witnessed it, it was actually storming on the road and I'm driving in this truck. The only thing I could do was just pray and just be like, God, just get me, just get me through this road. I was like, I don't know um, 
what's going on. I was like, I'm just trying to deliver my load. I'm like, I'm not here to disturb you. You know, it's like when you feel energy like that, sometimes you just have to be like, look, I'm coming at peace. And I'm just trying to get through here. I'm not coming here to disrupt you in any type of way. But it's it's not a comfortable feeling when you yeah. feel it. Yeah, like when you drive trucks and you start traveling all over the place, you do come into contact with some weird, unexplainable shit. I've had things like when I'm driving and you in the back, I've had things come in the front a seat with me like and just be there for a little while and then get the fuck away. Yeah. We visited, lived in different Airbnbs and hotels and experienced things. Yeah. Yeah, it just be, should be crazy. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. That was a really good story. I'm glad she shared her side of how of her experience with Lake Lanier. Yeah. If you enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Your truth, only moment you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into